What's up, JKD family? It's your boy, Derek, and today we're going to be talking about the steps that you need to take after you get your commercial learner's permit. Once you got your commercial learner's permit, the next thing you need to be getting is your DOT physical. Your DOT physical is pretty much, you know, saying that you're healthy enough to drive an 18-wheeler, drive a truck, whatever it may be. They're going to check your eyes, they're going to check your nose, check your throat, they're going to check your muscles, your arms, your legs. You know, they're going to make sure that you're capable enough to drive a, a truck and you know they got some pretty much it's just like a safety restriction thing to to cover them on their end and make sure that you're safe to drive they're going to ask you about your prior uh medical history you know so you have anything that may prevent you from passing the physical you may want to get that taken care of after you get your dot physical be prepared for a drug test there are four different types of drug tests that i know of you have the mouth swab you have the blood test you have the urine and you have the hair as far as my research i've seen that majority of companies do hair follicle tests and if you if you're smoking if you're doing drugs you know stay away from it stay away from it because as far as i know it can date back the hair follicle test can date back as far as 90 days the urine test is 30 days the mouth swab is maybe three to five days and the blood test i think is a few hours or so i'm not completely sure once you have those steps taken care of now you need to figure out which route you're going to go you can pay out of pocket and go to school or you can you can go sign a contract with the company or you may also find a third party company or a private owned company that may train train you under their wing for you know a certain price that they may charge you i'm not sure what that would be going to school or signing with a company may not be the route for you now if you're looking for a little bit of more home time i would say pay out of pocket there's a lot of third-party schools out here that can get you certified to get you your cdls um the cost that i've seen range from twenty five hundred dollars all the way to seven thousand dollars it all depends on what you find was close enough to you and you know pretty much how much you're willing to pay and majority of them do require a down payment the lowest down payment that i came across was five hundred dollars and then the most was two thousand dollars so if you're wanting to get, you get your cdl do a school you know you already have your cdl it should be a little easier to go to a company and not have to sign a contract and get a little bit more home time and you know pretty much not be owned by the company and you know they tell you where you're going and you don't have no say or anything like that now if you're a single person and you don't care you know you can go to you can go to a, a company sign a contract they're going to have you on the road three to four weeks at a time and they say you know you'll be home three to four days um i have a family myself so i'm not really leaning towards that way i want to get my cdl privately or you know through a school so that the ball can be in my court and i can make better decisions for myself and for my for my family um schools they last about four to six weeks um i don't think i think that's pretty you know that's a pretty good time Four to six weeks is not a long time. You know, you grind and it's like working a nine to five. You know, you wake up, you go to work, you come back home. You know, you do that for four to six weeks, depending on how quickly you, you can grasp the information and, you know, learn how to drive the truck, you know. So the quicker you learn, the, maybe the quicker you can get out from what I hear. And after you get your CDL and you graduate from a school, there's a lot of companies promising that they can have you a job within the same day or within that same week. To me, that sounds really promising. If you can get a job within one week of getting your CDL and start driving immediately, that is great. That is great. So thanks again, guys. It's Derek. I just want to give you guys some more information on getting your CDL. I'm still on this journey myself, but I figured I should go ahead and share this knowledge with y'all. I've been doing lots of research every single day trying to get things going, you know, so if you guys want to drop a like, drop a comment, questions, anything, I don't mind. I'll ask them all to the best of my knowledge. Make sure you subscribe if you already haven't, and I will see you guys in the next video.